everyone going out there? Happy Tuesday. Wanted to drop a video today inspired by what I did yesterday. Um, so yesterday I did a lot of mailings. I checked for sale by owner sites um, and I sent out personalized letters uh, to the for sale by owners, also known as FISBOs in the real estate industry. That's what the realtors call them for short, FISBOs. Um, and there were so many out there that were on the market for 60 to 90 days. One was on there for 144 days. Um, so I went ahead and sent a letter to them explaining to them why they're losing money um, by letting it sit there and trying to sell it on their own. And it got me to thinking, you know, yes, the, the, the market is incredibly hot right now. You know, I've been, an, I've been a licensed realtor for two years now, and I have not had an offer accepted yet um, on a buyer that was just at the sale price. So all, you know, you're going to have to get, you're going to have to go over ask right now for anything nice that has any kind of appeal to it that has multiple people interested in it, you're going to have to go over ask. And that's just the truth. So with that being said, it leads a lot of people to believe that they can just sell the home on their own, cut out the realtor and save that money. That's just not the truth. You know, that's just not the facts. And we're going to use the statistics uh, to get ahead of that and to uh, kill that rumor or myth that's going around in the industry where a lot of people just believe they can sell it on their own without the realtor and save money. You're actually losing money in the long run. And I'm going to explain to you, just like I explained in the letters that I sent out yesterday, how that's happening. So to start off, we're going to start off with a guy who's selling his home on his own. All right. This is what the numbers look like for a guy selling a home on his own. So we're going to say that the market value list price is 300000 for that home that he's selling. Okay, now based on realtor.com, the average FISBO home for sale by owner, the average FISBO home is getting 6% less than other comparable homes on the market. So they're getting 6% less than what their house is actually worth based on other comparable homes. So right off the get go, that's $18,000 right there that he's getting less. Um, with that being said, again, based on realtor.com statistics, the average home being sold by owner is on the day is on the market for 65 days longer than a home being listed by a realtor. So 65 days, that's two months worth of mortgage payments right there. So let's on a 200, let's say he bought the home for $225,000 and he had a 30 year mortgage, 4.5% interest rate. The taxes on the home was 5,500 and the insurance was 2000 a year. Okay. That would be a mortgage payment of $1,891.71. Like I said, it's two mortgage payments. So $3,783.42 is those two mortgage payments he had to pay while his home was on the market. Now, with that being said, he finally gets it under contract. Woohoo, he got it done. All right, even though we'll get to it later, but that's a long time being on the market in this market. But there's a 30-day close period also. All right, it's not just a done deal. All right, there's also a 30-day close period. So that's another $1,891.71. So all together for his 65, you know, 60 days on the market, another 30-day escrow period, he had to pay $5,675.13. Now remember, he was already down $18,000 because he got 6% less than what he could have gotten um, because he didn't use a realtor. So now he's down to $200. $76,324.87. Then you have closing costs that you're going to have to pay regardless. You're going to have to pay someone to do your title. You're going to have to pay someone to do your deed. You're going to have to do all those things as a seller. Um, now, that's things that a realtor handles. Now, you have to handle that headache, okay? And listen, it costs the same. A realtor's not going to save you on that. But the point is a realtor usually handles those things, setting up the closing with the title company and all that stuff. Now, you're handling it in your personal time, in your headaches. So that's uh, 2,500. We'll just throw 2,500 out there as the closing cost for the seller side. Then let's say he had $90,000, 500 left on the loan. So based on that, he's going to walk with $183,324.87. Not too bad, right? That's a pretty good haul, right? For, for sale by owner, okay? And like I said, let's keep in mind, he keeps the deal together. There's no issues in, the, in between. You know, there's no issues with the inspections. There's no issues with the title. He knew exactly how to close, you know, all that stuff with, which to be honest with you, the general person walking the street right now does not know the entire process for closing on a home. So that's a problem too. Yes, let's say he got it closed. And again, he walked with $183,324.87. Now he had to pay three months mortgage payments during that process because it took longer to sell than it should have. Now with an agent, okay, here's the number with the agent. 
let's say a 6% list fee, which to be honest with you, there's agents out there that will do 5%, um, myself included, I'll do 5%. Um, but we'll say 6% because that's what the top, top agents demand and they won't do a house for less. So let's say 6%, just like he got 6% less for his comparable home, a 6% list fee, that's $18,000. We're gonna say that he didn't get over ask. Again, keep in mind, like I said, in my in two years of uh, being a realtor so far, every home I got under contract as the buyer side had to be over ask. So, but let's just say he got the 300,000, he didn't get over ask, he got 300,000 with a 6% list fee. So that's 18,000 off the top, just like over here. So that's 282,000. Now, the average realtor is selling a home within 14 days right now. Um, then of course you do have the 30 day escrow period. All right, but you have 14 days, 30 day close, that's one. You can get away with one payment in that situation of 189171, which was your mortgage. Um, and that would equal to $280,108.29. You still have the closing cost, $2,500 in closing costs. So that comes to $277,608.29. Then of course the loan, like we said, he still had 90,500 left on his loan. And that comes to 187,000, 108 and 29 cents. So over here in the FISBO, he had 183,324 and 87 cents. Over here, 187,108, 29 cents. Now, that's a difference of $3,783.42 that he would have gotten if he used a realtor versus selling the home on his own. And again, keep in mind a couple of things. That's if he's able to close the deal on his own on the for sale by owner side. If he's actually able to get 282,000 for the house, cause that's just the average. That's just the average based on realtor.com that um, comparable homes listed by uh, the owner is sold for 6% less. So that's just the average. And that's assuming over here that his realtor didn't get over ask and that he did a 6% listing fee, which like I said, a lot of realtors will take 5% listing fee right now because you know the market is so tough and the inventory is so low, a lot of realtors will take a 5% list fee, like myself included. So even with a realtor at 6% list fee, which is really kind of the high end um, in this industry right now, he still saves thir almost $3,800 by using a realtor. And he saves time, he saves his energy, he saves his emotions, you know, because the realtor's handling all the stuff that, you know, the normal Jim and Joe walking the street don't see behind the scenes of a real estate transaction. So again, please don't believe the myth that you can save money by doing your home on your own. It's just not true. In the long run, it's going to cost you money. It's going to cost you emotions. It's going to cost you your stress. It's going to cost you your you know freedom. It's it's just a a lot to do in a transaction. And like I said, and that's just assuming you still are able to sell it, which to be fair, only 10% of for sale by owners actually even sell. Um, so keep that in mind as well. So today's just a little informational video. I try to keep it as short as possible. A lot of information to dive into, um, but I'm going to end the video now. But uh, until next time, I appreciate you. Share it, help it. Maybe you can help a friend save some money. Maybe you can help a friend make more money. Share the video, like, comment, whatever you want to do. Appreciate you.